I've got my good posture. I've got my grip right, right? I, I'm, in his, I'm in his guard and I managed to like stay relatively safe. Right, now I want to pass. So we're going to look at the kind of like classic way of opening close guard. And this is called low passing, right? So two jiu-jitsu terms. Low passing is where I stay on my knees, I stay low. And then high passing is where I stand up. So you'll see white and blue back competitions, there's a lot of low passing. Right? So it tends to be the thing that people gravitate towards because they're a bit scared of standing up, getting swept. You look at the higher belts, there's almost no low passing, right? Because like for me to pass a purple belt guard when I'm on my knees is going to be very difficult, right? But to pass with white or blue belt, maybe I'll get it. So here, I've got my good posture, my knees pinched, my hips under, my back, and I want to get control of both of his lapels. And I want one because it can fall off the side. If I've got both, he tries to move my arms to the side, it won't come off. Uh, I used to train with this guy called Legato, the world champion, and he used to do this, he used to roll the gi up here, really tight, to the point where it's slightly hard to breathe. And when you're like a few minutes in, and you're breathing heavy, and all of a sudden you've got to squeeze in the chest, you do that, and then twist, which made it even tighter. And then here, and if you want to lock out your arm. Even though I don't have this weird twist, just got both of out. I want to lock out my arm and put this in his solar plexus here. So he tries to sit up and grab me, it's a very difficult hit, but I've got some control. My other hand is going to grab the outside of his trousers. Here. And what I'm going to try and do is keep his hip down. Right? So even if I got this, if Justin can start working his legs up, maybe he can get a triangle, or use his legs to pull me in, or get something, right? If I keep his hips on the floor with that hand, he tries to do the same thing, like bring his legs up. Now I've got a lot of control. Right? So I've got an ease, easily push him away, and I'm keeping his hip on the floor. Right? My knee is then going to go in the middle, in between his hips, <laughs> right? And then this leg is coming out, and I'm starting to push back and make pressure. I see this talk where you go leg up or leg down, mm -hmm. but I don't think it matters as long as I'm keep pushing away and I'm keeping his hip on the floor. If I don't keep his hip on the floor, he can kind of ride up my leg, and I effectively pull him up here, and now he's in a position to start attacking me like this. So, hold his gi outside of the trousers, Knee in the middle, bring this leg out, start pushing back. If he's still got his guard closed and he's very tall, <laughs> right? I can start working lower and even double trouser grip. I like this one a lot. And then push back, right? If you fight someone really tall with lots of space. It's, it's, mm, it's, a, it's a contact sport, right? <laughs> so if I start pushing his trousers <laughs> up, it can become uncomfortable for him, right? So See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like a front widget? Yeah. There's a front widget. What do you think? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give Justin a camel toe. That's what I'm saying. So I'm here. Go okay, here. Move back. This might be enough. If his guard is still closed, I'm gonna come down. Double trousers. Push away. There. We've become very comfortable. And we're just gonna get to this point. As soon as I open, I just want to bring one knee up. The nab tries to close his guard again. Very difficult, right? Unless he's much taller than me. Last time, just quick. So I'm here, let's do the other side. Here, hip on the floor, knee in the middle, bring this leg out, form, if not, double trousers, and then straight away, combat base. This position with one leg up to stop him just closing his guard. Everyone happy with that? One, two, three.